Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What created, defined, and granted the judicial branch its power? The foundation of the judicial branch of the United States is laid out in the Constitution, specifically in Article 3. This article is known as the Judicial Vesting Clause and confers the federal judicial power on one Supreme Court and such inferior courts as the Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The Judiciary Act of 1789, passed by the first U.S. Congress, played a crucial role in establishing the judicial branch. This act created the Supreme Court, as well as the national system of district and circuit courts, setting the stage for the federal judiciary as we know it today. Article 3 of the Constitution grants Congress significant authority to determine the shape and structure of the federal judiciary. This includes the power to establish courts inferior to the Supreme Court, such as the United States District Courts and the 13 United States Courts of Appeals. The Supreme Court's power of judicial review was established through the landmark case of Marbury v. Madison in 1803. This case determined that the Supreme Court has the authority to declare laws and government actions unconstitutional, a power not explicitly stated in the Constitution, but derived from its interpretation. The Constitution also grants the Supreme Court original jurisdiction over specific types of cases, such as disputes between two or more U.S. states, cases involving ambassadors, and other public ministers. Additionally, it has appellate jurisdiction over cases involving constitutional and federal law issues. Federal judges, including those on the Supreme Court, are appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate. They serve for life unless they resign or are impeached and removed by Congress, which helps to insulate them from political pressures. The judicial branch's independence is further protected by the Constitution, which ensures that judges' compensation cannot be diminished during their time in office. This provision prevents Congress from punishing judges for unpopular decisions by reducing their pay. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.